In this video, we will be discussing the pitch copy shift function of an OTC robot. The pitch copy shift function is very similar to the XYZ shift function, however, is a bit more powerful in the fact that it can do a multitude of copies all in an array across a table or a workspace. An example of this would be if you need to program one part and add more parts to the table, you can do so. Uh, also, you can do multiple stitch welds. If you have a part with multiple stitch welds, you can write one stitch weld and then duplicate that multiple times down the line of the entire weldment. So in order to get started, I've gone and written a program to create a box on the table. Now if I want to pitch copy shift, essentially what I want to do is shift steps two through number eight. This is my weld sequence and approach and retract points. So if in order to do this, I'm going to press enable and select service utilities. I'm going to scroll down to number nine, which is program conversion. I'm going to scroll down to number 16, which is pitch copy shift. From here, I've got my pitch copy shift menu. At the top, the source program is going to be the program I just wrote. The destination, I can leave it the same and it will duplicate in the same program. Otherwise, I can put all this into a new program if I chose to. The steps that I want to copy are going to be 2 through 8. The copy count is going to be however many extra copies that I want. So in my case, I've got room for six parts total. So I'm going to make five copies. Page down on the right side, and you'll see pitch. That is going to be the amount of inches that you want it to move each time. I'm going to do six in my case. Now you've got two ways of doing your shift direction. You can either use a program to identify the direction of travel or teach point, which would be referencing two points using the robot teach tip. If I use program, it's very simple. I just choose which program I want to reference. In this case, I'm going to reference the program I just wrote and I'm going to create a base step. Now, if you reference the pitch copy shift manual on page four, you can see an explanation of the base step and shift direction step. In my case, my base step will be my starting point of the robot and my shift direction step will be a step in the direction of travel that I want the robot to shift. So in this case, step four will be my base and step five will be my shift direction. Once I have those plugged in, I can hit execute. It'll ask me to overwrite. I can hit yes. It'll tell me conversion was completed and to hit any key. From here I'll hit any key and reset back to the main screen. And now you can see my program has been added onto. These are all the extra shifts. Now I can go ahead and check through this to make sure everything functions properly and see that I've got six squares on the table. Once it does the first square, it'll come up and go back down to the other one and continue on until it gets all six copies. So again, to recap, the value of the pitch copy shift is for multiple aspects. One, to add more parts to your table, but also you can use it as a stitch welding tool on a larger part. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.